Right. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. Stellar Blade has taken the gaming community by storm with its beautiful visuals, stunning character models, and dynamic combat. Let's dive in and you can decide if you want to play or pass. Stellar Blade is one of the best looking games I have played in a long time. They decided to focus on art and style to make the game look good, along with great animations and a world that transports you to somewhere that's familiar yet unique. The state of the world is dark, twisted, and on the brink of complete collapse. Each level and section of the game are simply stunning. It features some of the best hair rending I've seen. Eve has a long ponytail that moves very realistically and naturally, even wrapping around her at times and draping over her assets, which are very well showcased with unlockable outfits along with sunglasses and earrings. Stellar Blade's world design is great. It features two separate desert locations, a light snow-covered region, and Idol 7, which is the ruins of a massive city with a flooded district and construction yard. Each area is very distinct from the other. Take the two desert areas, for instance. One is more of a desert with mesas and junkyards all over the place. The other desert area is sandy, with ruins of a once big city buried mostly under the sand with a dusty haze covering the environment reducing visibility. While these are the sections where you will spend most of the game, you also have the indoor more linear levels along with the open world sections. There's an abandoned subway and massive facilities. Now, one of the good things about this game is that they listened to players and patched it at launch, letting us toggle off chromatic aberration, motion blur, and film grain. All the characters and NPCs you encounter are androids, and they are very different looking than what you would expect in most games. Some of them are torn apart with cyberpunk style aesthetic, where you can see metal showing through, and there's even one character who is an opera singer who is missing her legs, while some just look like humans. It offers up something completely different in terms of its appearance and approach to characters, compared to what we normally see these days. Now the enemies are called Nativa. They are these grotesque, monstrous mutations that range from small to massive, and each one is more disgusting than the other. Stellar Blade's combat is smooth and impactful. It is a blend of Souls games mixed with a bit of Devil May Cry. Eve has an arsenal consisting of her sword and a drone that becomes a gun with several different modes. It has a machine gun, shotgun, and missile launcher. Do not sleep on the shotgun mode. It is great for boss battles. It can cause them to stagger, stopping their attack. It's very useful. All of her weapons are upgradable, and it is necessary to beat the later stages of the game. It also relies heavily on blocking, parry, and dodge mechanics, which give a satisfying slow-mo effect, allowing you to take full advantage of the situation. Level design is very similar to Nier and God of War Ragnarok. Searching and exploring the open world sections and finding missing androids for health upgrades and weapon parts. Stellar Blade makes you want to explore its world. Side quests can be picked up at Zion, the game's hub world, with stores for buying items and a hair salon later on in the game. It does have three performance modes, resolution, balance, and performance. Balance is mostly a 60 FPS experience besides for one of the desert worlds, now the performance mode will keep you at 60, but it does take a major hit and draw distance and it's noticeable in certain areas with a hard line in front of you. When you're running you can see a big shift in texture quality, but the extra frames are helpful for those crucial dodges. Stellar Blade even features a skill tree that has more perks and attacks to unlock in New Game Plus. Eve being an android also plays a role into the gameplay with the ability to equip exospine upgrades that can enhance every aspect that you choose for your preferred playstyle. When it comes to music, this game is heavily inspired by Nier, but at times I do feel like they overuse the vocals a bit. The overall audio does not disappoint. It's visceral at times during combat, but when exploring, it's hauntingly peaceful, creating a real sense of loneliness throughout the barren wastelands. The story might be the weakest part of the game, but even so, it's still pretty good. It's up to Eve, Adam, and Lily to complete the mission and destroy the Elder Nativa. Eve is a part of a space-borne assault launched from what is known as the Mother Sphere. Lily is a tech specialist and Adam is a resident of the planet. The story is kind of obvious with some of its twists and turns, but I found it to be an entertaining experience from start to finish. 
Stellar Blade is a visual masterpiece with engaging gameplay mechanics and a compelling, if slightly predictable, story. The game offers enough depth and variety to keep you hooked. So, what do you think? Play or pass? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later.